Welcome to the Panic Button. I'm Nina. I'm Jesse. And today, the cut released a video. Okay. Of the button. Yeah. And I haven't seen the button in a while. It's been a long time. Hmm. You're right. Nice to meet you. I am Cal. Andy. Andy. Nice to meet you. So, what? We both have male names. What happens when two non-binaries get together? I don't know. I've never heard of it. I'm sure it's out there. I'm gonna assume that they deny each other because I've never heard of two non-binary dating. What are you looking for? Like, why did you come on this? I didn't experience a lot of things as a child, so like... Ooh, ooh, I, ooh, I don't like her. Ooh, ooh, she just has that, like... That I added... didn't... I didn't experience a lot of things as a child. Like, I don't even want to beat her. Like a angry teenager? Mm -hmm. That's the vibes I'm getting. I would've went boop. But I can't go boop because the button's not lit up yet. Let's go. She looks like a teacher. Art teacher. Art teacher. English teacher. Or maybe teacher. grade school teacher. English teacher. She's cross. English teacher. <laughs> Shut up, bitch! Like, Why didn't you experience a lot as a child, if you want to get into that? Because my parents were horrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Were they, like, super religious? My parents were really religious. Not really religious, just really, really, like, strict and limiting of everything. Yeah. I don't talk to them anymore. Like, oh, interesting, interesting. And how long has it been since that? Since I have talked to them? Yeah. Probably about 10 years. Yeah, about 10 years. That's crazy. Have you ever oh. heard? Have you ever heard of trauma dumping? Yeah. That sounds like this. Oh, there have been many times in my life where I've been out, especially when I worked at the casino as a massage therapist um, in the poker room. There, there were so many times where people, random people would come up to me and just start telling me their life story or the stressful things that are going on in their life in detail. And I'm like, I'm just out having a cigarette. Just mind my own. They ask for a lighter, and next thing you know. I'll make this as quick as humanly possible, but today I was fixing cat food. And this man told me about cat food, and then about his doctor, and then how about how he couldn't afford his doctor, and then how about how they were sending him money back, and then about how his leg was having issues, and then about God knows fucking what else, because I checked out after that. Some people just need to keep things to themselves. I think some people are just lonely. Fun fact about Andy, yes. they have two possums in their freezers right now. So tell me about that. Why do you have two possums in your freezer? Well, I found them on the road, and they were very fresh, and um, I know one of my many hobbies is... Is she autistic? I think she... Just... No, I'm not trying to be mean. No, no, I'm not trying to be mean, but, like, she's not really making eye contact, and she's like, well... I think she's ashamed of eating I'm just, roadkill. I'm just doing what I'm doing. You know, my parents are terrible. I don't talk to them anymore. I think she eats roadkill. Why else would you keep possums in your freezer? I think she eats roadkill. Taxidermy? You never know. She said they were fresh. Dead little creatures in jars. Oh. The only ones I find, I don't kill them myself, that's cheating. Yeah. I, everywhere I go, I, I find bones. I don't know why. It's just, Wait, that's crazy. What do you mean, like, like just outside? Weird, yeah, it's just like a weird ability. It, it, I've never seen a bone in public in my life. I'm that's like a, crazy. I'm like a metal detector, but it, for bones. <laughs> Take me to the park and I'll find you a bone. Ability? Is this a superpower? She's like Storm. <laughs> I'm bone. I'm bones. Bones. <laughs> bones. Let's put up Emily Deschanel. Bones. Fast zoom in. Bones. <laughs> Emily Deschanel. David Boreanaz. Bones. bones. <laughs> I've never seen a bone in public in my life. I'm, That's like, crazy. A, I'm like a metal detector, but it, for bones. <laughs> Take me to the park and I'll find you bones. <laughs> I think it, because I'm like pretty, I was raised in a very like family oriented, even though my parents are strict, it's sometimes hard for me to be with people who yeah. aren't as oriented with their families, you know? So it wasn't the bones? <laughs> the fact that you find bones all the time is kind of creeping me out, so I'm just gonna. It wasn't the bones, no, the bones were great. No, and it wasn't the preserving dead animals. No, those were great things. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Cal. Mandy. Mandy, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. So what would you like if you're starting to go on like a first date with a partner? Like what are things that you enjoy doing? I like going to like like places out like where there's like activities and stuff like right you now like I like to eat out. <laughs> it's her mouth for me, dude. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm so sorry, lady. You're probably really, really lovely, but I like um, to have you ever seen someone who's like when they're talking, and you really don't open your mouth. <laughs> like, to go but, out and eat, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just observing. I'm just an observer. I'm not here to judge. I'm just observing. I'm just evaluating. 
kind of looks like a vegan. She looks like she's dying. <laughs> All love. All love, though. Hog park, like, that kind of thing. Like, Ooh, that might be hard. Like, I'm a pretty fully, like, all I do is outdoors. Yeah. That's for 40 <laughs> hours of my week. I'm such a capitalist slave that it's, like, sometimes it's, like, right. I just want to be, like, far away from the city and as far away from... Holy buttons, Batman. <laughs> Our monthly salary was spent on buttons. Well, you know, that's so I get one, like, yeah, I just like being out. I think for that reason, I'm gonna... Yeah. Post, but no. <laughs> Okay, it's okay if I reject you. Can I reject you now? Is it okay? Would you allow me to reject you? Yeah, you seem very cool too. Yeah, I just don't think we have that. Our hobbies yeah. are a little different. Yeah. It was yeah. so nice it to meet so you. Yeah, how are you Yeah, you too. Hello. Hi. Isaiah. Mandy. Mandy. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you as well. I'm loving the piercing, and I yeah. see the whole like bun set. <laughs> My flair. Uh, yeah, is that like <laughs> anything special to you or like what's going on there? Quick bet, who do you think is binary? Who do you think's gonna hit it first? The last bit of the gay man? Him. <laughs> the cat. Um Yeah. It's all good. Um I just don't see myself becoming like super attracted to you and like That's working fair. with the aesthetic. Like yeah. it's just a different look. What was the first thing you noticed that was unattractive to you? Damn, how do I just say them as a whole? Um, hello, Isaiah. I'm Ambrose, nice to meet you. Ambrose? Yeah. Okay, I'm already <laughs> loving, I'm already <laughs> loving the looks that you're serving. Okay, yeah. yeah. Me too. Tell me about your dynamics and what you look for in poly relationships. I'm not looking for like a primary partner. Did you say in poly relationships? Did we skip uh -huh. over that completely? Uh-huh. So like also, <laughs> how do you feel about extremely flamboyant gay with extremely flamboyant gay. Well, touch me in the morning and then just walk away. How do you feel when... Is that a guy or a girl? That's a guy. Is it? Okay. Yeah. I have a primary partner. All right. So, um, and I have two kids, I'm really busy. And I like to be upfront about that. I am 23, I don't know if that's... Oh, too young. <laughs> yeah. So I am 23. Okay. Um, so like I'm still like young 20s. Uh, yeah. I turned 21 during COVID. Like I'm j really just still s starting my life in the yeah. nightlife scene. So you're very cute, but you're so young. <laughs> I'm 34, so it's just a little. Understand. Bit of a little. Good luck. Nice to meet you. Hi. I'm Alexa. I'm Amber. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what are you looking for here? Like I have a primary partner that's still that I'm committed to, and that's yeah. going to be my primary. I am a very romantic person, mm -hmm. so I'm. Can you just ask a question and not like I don't want to be mean, but why is it always the ugly people who are in these poly relationships? A full way relationship is working wonders for them. I think it's because those people were so used to rejection that now that they are uh, of the age where they can get multiple partners, they will. Ah. Person, so I'm definitely looking for someone that I can have like a very close relationship with, but not necessarily like moving in. But like, what about you? I really just like connections with people and enjoying them how they are. Yeah. So I have a, a very limited amount of time, so I don't have okay. like the full, you know, yeah. attention to be able to commit that to somebody yeah. and spend a lot of time with them. What do you mean when you say you don't have a lot of time? So I have two kids, mm -hmm. two jobs, mm -hmm. <laughs> a primary partner. Um, weekends are like pretty much my only time to hang out, which yeah. is... I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm very good with kids, especially. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. It's all right. They don't really like hanging out with adults either. Okay, good. <laughs> well, thank you. It was, it was nice, nice to meet you. you. Have a good one. I'm Alexa. Alexa, it's good to meet you. I'm nice Emma. Nice to meet you, Emma. I like your earrings. Thank you. I, I like your whole outfit. Thank you so much. I feel like we have like competing aesthetics. Here. I know a little bit. I'm a little you have a lot of trolls. Do you yeah. usually wear a lot of like? I definitely, trolls. yeah, I definitely prefer. Girl Daphne. talk. She looked like Daphne from Scooby Doo if she had a very bad life. <laughs> Went down the wrong path. Like browns, but I love pops of color. Yeah, I think that was green oh, and purple. So I love it. I appreciate it. Yeah. So tell me, like, how do you how do you date? How do you do non monogamy? I have I have a primary partner. They live in Chicago, um, so it's a long distance relationship. So I'm kind of 
really just open and curious and excited to meet people and kind of explore that kind of relationship. Yeah. Yeah, how about you? I've been like poly kind of my whole adult life. Um, I definitely approach polyamory in a very like non-hierarchical way whatever if that makes yeah, sense yeah I but. like that and I appreciate that yeah this is very it's a little bit new to me and I've like my partner has other partners and that's been working really well has other partners and that's been working really well for me and I'm definitely like interested in meeting someone who's more well like well versed in it yeah like, Emma, do you think you can be a good teacher oh I'm an excellent teacher <laughs> yeah. yeah I work in education oh yeah. yeah yeah I originally was a preschool teacher but now I'm a nanny okay um which yeah. is probably not maybe applicable to, like, how good I am at, like, dating. But I really love, like, dating and relationships. Yeah. And I consider myself, like, a little bit of a, like, relationship nerd. What about you? What, do you? what kind of things are you a nerd about? I'm a huge nerd about picture frames, which is very niche. Um, I love my... that shit. I love the special <laughs> interest that I, yeah. I don't know anything about frames. Wait, Alexa? Yes? Can you look deep into Emma's eyes mm-hmm. and in a sexy voice explain the sexiest parts of picture framing? <laughs> okay, the sexiest parts of picture framing. Sexy voice. Okay, so I'd have to say the sexiest part of picture Sexier. framing is... I'm trying. <laughs> You're doing great. Just like this very fancy type of glass <laughs> that's anti-glare and 99% UV protected. <laughs> sexy. And it will make your art very sexy. Is it expensive? Yes. Hot. <laughs> Fun fact about Emma. Yes? She took a fisting workshop. <laughs> have, you, have you ever ever engaged with fisting? Have you ever? Yeah. Not me. <laughs> Hi, I'm the dainty little femme one. <laughs> I've never. <laughs> Have you? To someone. You're more of the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, more of the giver. On, uh, yeah. Uh, maybe. At some point. Maybe. Don't know. You don't know? <laughs> I think you know it. Probably. Probably. Right? Probably. I would hope so. Yeah, I did enjoy it. I'm not going to press I'm, I won't press the button either. <laughs> so how did your journey with that kind of start? Like, I've always, always been to, like... Hor- do we have to listen to them talk about this? Because I'm so not down. Okay, well, I don't need to hear anything about plexiglass and picture frames and Daphne's poor, poor life. I'm just, like and subscribe. Alcoholic Daphne's fisting lessons.